Today I'm going to end Farid's dawa career. If he has any dignity left, then he'll need to start looking for a different job. Farid tried to refute our brothers Al Fadi and David Wood. Please watch the entire video because Farid is on the menu. This is going to be a nice barbecue. My victims once again are going to be David Wood and his faithful sidekick Al Fadi. Actually, you're going to be my victim today, Farid, and it will be your janaza today. Just be patient and watch what I will do to you. Who even though has quite a nice studio, apparently can't afford to get a good editor. Uh, we will be covering things related to the rapid growth of Islam. But today we are going to uh, focus on... Fadi, you gotta be careful because you keep on dropping F-bombs like that. Someone might clip it and take it out of context and use it to their advantage. Brother Al-Fadi is actually one of the nicest people I've ever spoken to. And as you may know, I had the honor to record many videos with him in his beautiful studio. With that in mind, I want to welcome our dear brother, Rob. Rob, thank you so much, brother, for taking the time to be with us here. And as always, um, it is a blessing uh, to work with you. And uh, I'm always uh, amazed and uh, blessed by the research that you do, brother, because you always use the Islamic sources uh, from its primary uh, basically, uh, uh, you know, foundations. Uh, we will be covering things related to the rapid growth of Islam. But today we are going to fo uh, focus... As you noticed, it was nothing but a slip of the tongue. We are humans and these things can happen to any one of us. Now, since this is such a huge thing for Farid, then let me use this silly argument against Farid and his fraud false prophet Muhammad, who did actually use the F word and full language multiple times in the most authentic Islamic books. The effort which the Prophet of Islam used is here, Aniktaha. Oh boy, did Farid just expose his own Prophet? Aniktaha is literally the effort which filthy people use on the streets. Actually, Muhammad did not only use the effort, but also said much more than that. Watch. It was narrated from Obey bin Kaab that a man boasted of his tribal lineage and Obey told him to bite his father's penis and they said, you were never given obscene speech. He said, we were instructed by our prophet to do that. So who told them to go say to such people, bite your father's penis? The Prophet of Islam. Farid must be really sorry now for using this silly argument. When you try too hard, Farid, it usually backfires. So the question is, what kind of prophet uses filthy language? Only a nasty false prophet. Didn't Muhammad in many other ahadith say, the one who uses obscene and foul language will burn in hellfire? Clearly, Muhammad forgot his own words, which we now can use against him and bury him. But what can you expect from a false prophet? That's right, 